League of Legends offseason is always a time of change. Over the past few years, we've seen the formation of super teams and some shocking departures. But no move shook the foundation of the LCS more than that of a controversial AD carry back in 2015. In honor of the 2019 free agency period getting underway, we look back at the biggest roster move in LCS history. For the greater part of five years, Doublelift was the face of CounterLogic Gaming. Through those years, Doublelift became known for his trash talk. They're pretty much a bunch of no-names. I don't really respect them. I guess if we get upset, that would be pretty embarrassing. So we're going to take it obviously very seriously, just like we take every match. I just think they're by far the worst team in LCS. Everyone else is trash. Right here on the show. <laughs> Everyone else is trash. And at times, he was deemed difficult to work with. CLG was filled with drama as the team underwent major changes after each and every failure. Despite all these changes, CLG couldn't find that big win. Doublelift's empty trophy case became a massive meme, and it seemed as though he was unable to win an LCS title. Finally, in summer of 2015, CLG found a working roster. The unit of Doublelift, Aphromoo, Pobelter, Xmithy, and Zion Spartan made it all the way to the summer finals. Smithy does have the chrono break to get into oh. a good situation, but his shadow's now still inside, so he can fight. Afromu going salami, tanking that turret. He knows he goes down. He's letting the team fight, just tanking the turret completely, knowing Counterlogic Logic is stronger. The double Not kill, enough. the triple kill now coming in for Pobelter. Double is going to clean one up. 40 seconds on the clock, boys. And the faithful shall be rewarded. CLG take the inhibitor. They're going to take the Nexus turrets, and they're going to take a trip to world. Finally, Double Lift and CLG had hoisted the trophy. As Kobe said, the faithful had been rewarded. As North America's top seed, CLG would disappoint at Worlds. A crushing loss to Pain Gaming ended their hopes as they wouldn't make it out of group stage. The real crushing blow, however, would be dealt on October 31st. In a shocking announcement and a weird video, TSM announced that they had signed Doublelift. Something in here? Peter, what are you doing in there? Well, I'm teamless, dude. Can you help me? How long have we been teamless? A few hours. Oh my god, alright, let's get you inside. Did you shower? Mm hmm. You should change. I have something better for you. Oh, thanks. Although the acting was poor, the move would eventually prove successful. Although their first split together was a rocky one, TSM ended up in the Spring Finals, where they'd go head to head with Doublelift's former team. Knocked back now by Buster Shot as well. Bjergsen is low. Oh, he takes it! In. Gets it up, but QS is out. He's still gonna tag. He's trying to reset. He's going in for the reset. Yellow Star got another out. one. He's going for three. Stick stay. They can go ahead. Give him the rapid fire. Give him the resets and give him his first ever North American Championship in his first season on CLG. It was a devastating loss for Doublelift, but all would be made better next split. TSM went undefeated for seven weeks of the regular season and cruised to yet another LCS Finals. They're actually the fighting. Thing. And there's a knockback. They've got impact, but he's Meganar, and he can't do it in time. The first kill comes in for TSM, and this could be the championship team fight. Here they go. A double already for Bjergsen into the back line. They're killing everybody. C9 only have two members remaining. Make that one. It's only Jensen. There's no chance left. It's nothing to stand in their way as TSM cement themselves as the most dominant organization in North American League of Legends and win their fourth North American Championship. Following a one-split hiatus, Doublelift would return to TSM to pick up yet another LCS title, bringing his title count to three. Although his decision to join TSM was a controversial one, it helped him fill that once empty trophy case. And if a groundbreaking team swap worked once, then why not do it again? My name is Peter Pang, or Doublelift and I'm the starting AD carry for Team Liquid.